hello everyone welcome back to my channel and sorry for if you are not getting the audio correctly because my headphones got broke yesterday so i am utilizing my old microphone i hope still the audio i try to utilize the ai software if it is good please let me know in the comment section if it is voices coming crystal clear or some background noises coming or not so without any further delay let's start with our video so in the previous videos we have talked about uh, ai speech services ai language services so without any further delay let's continue with the computer vision services as we have already discussed in the previous video like uh, microsoft ai considered five key elements machine learning computer vision natural language processing conversational ai and anomaly detection out of which these three we have already talked yes like if we have talked little much about them then only that is very important for the examination point of view because this video is specifically uh, related to azure ai certification so now only two elements are remaining so in computer vision category azure services uh, divided into like uh, four major categories like computer vision itself the main service then there is a custom vision service which basically helps you to build your own models of uh, identifying and analyzing the world as we already discussed in the previous video what is computer vision it is basically uh, the analyzing the world through live cameras images and videos basically analyzing world visually that's the main part of computer vision so if you want to do it like uh, you want to utilize your own data you want to utilize your own models then we will going to take help of custom vision and another is face service because as a part of when you are analyzing something visually then face plays an important role to identify the face to detect anything to like uh, match uh, similarity between them we are going to discuss all of them but it is also an uh, important part of ai services so that is the third category and another one is form recognizer which basically means uh, scanning documents and doing stuff visual by like scanning the document and identifying the handwriting identifying the language and different things so anything related to documents we are going to do using form recognizer so let's first discuss about custom vision so as i already told custom vision will help you to create your own custom computer vision model right to uh, make your own object detection model basically uh, as i already told we want to analyze world through our lens if you want to build your own model you want to utilize your own data you want to train your model with your own data then you are going to utilize custom vision but uh, make sure this is just an par uh, part of image recognition only so this will help you to build your uh, build deploy and everything improve your image identifier models only just remember this uh, this can be point out in exam as well okay and uh, as i already told you need to provide your own data to train the model that's why it will become a custom vision uh, model or custom vision services that's the main point of utilizing it so let's take one example so it will also help you to process images from retail store and identifying the products of competitor using custom model basically if you are a retail store owner so you can identify okay which uh, product is basically selling it more and more from your retail store and you can easily identify using ai uh, custom ai model because uh, like every retail store has a different uh, items in it so you have to customize with your own data okay this is currently in your warehouse or this is currently in your re uh, retail store and uh, if you put item into that category so later you can analyze based on that and you can identify okay this uh like coca cola is selling more compared to pepsi and different uh, things you can do it will make your things very easy so then you have you need if you need to utilize your own data then basically custom vision come into picture next thing like there are two things which you need to remember when you are working with the custom vision one is basically uh, like the classification type which you have to choose when you are building the uh, classifier type model so first is the multi label 
means if you want to uh, like there will there will be the two classification types available when you are uh, choose to build and classifier build and model using computer vision first is the multi label classification type means uh, you will choose this when you want to apply multiple tags per image okay tags means like uh, just like a banana is there okay so the, that can be categorized into like it is a banana as well it is a yellow color fruit as well it is a fruit as well so it can be like you want to apply multiple tag to that single image okay but if you want to apply a single tag per image you want to categorize in that manner like uh, you don't want uh, your retail store is not that much big like it's a, just a fruit uh, store it does not have fruits vegetable and multiple tags you want to classify based on a single tag then you can you have to choose multi class okay so this is the concept of multi label versus multi class and another thing which you need to choose and it is a mandatory field when you are building the object detector it is to specify the domain so what is a domain so if you like you can understand from this page i will provide the link in the description so there are multiple domains available on azure portal so you have to choose a domain like if it's a general uh, domain like if you are not sure what domain to choose or it uh, consists of like uh, apart from all these like retail landmark food general a to category like it is basically uh, optimize uh, let's first discuss about general a1 so it will be better for you to understand general a2 so nowadays mostly uh, if you are uh, choosing any general category especially when building custom sometime it is got mixed up of like many domains no, it does not belong to food or landmarks or retail and other compact do, uh, domains so then you will choose general and then for the uh, like a better accuracy compared to this general domain you will choose this general a1 which will have uh, like uh, will train your uh, model very fast compared to like general domain and also with the better uh, in less time also okay and it can also handle the larger data set and more difficult scenarios okay but it will require more training time okay so time will be taken more but it can uh, be used for if you have large data set and more difficult user scenario and uh, general a2 it is for more better accuracy than uh, a1 and the normal general domain as well and it is also requiring less compare uh, training time compared to both of them general and general a1 so you can read more about it but it does not uh, come uh, like in exam uh, just you need to remember okay food landmark these categories are there even that will also there are less chances to come in exam you just need to know okay what you need to specify you need to specify domain when you are choosing and it is a mandatory field that is very important and also you need to choose a classification type uh, which are these two type you need to remember about so that's all in this video see you guys in the next one i am making it short so you can be um, uh, you can utilize it uh, very functionality because uh, sometimes people don't want to watch the full videos like one hour two hours video but if you want to watch it i later once we will complete this i will compile all of them and release a one hour or two a long form video basically so that's all in this guys see you guys in the next video make sure you subscribe the channel like this video and make sure you help your colleagues and juniors see you guys bye bye